Here we have a pre-owned 2012 blue on gray Honda Civic. This one comes in the LX trim level. So this one's a trade-in, mechanically sound, just a little rough around the edges. But the powertrain on this one consists of a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine, made it to a five speed automatic transmission. Almost 207,000 miles on this thing, still running great. Halogen headlamps at the front, again with the cosmetics here. It needs just a little paintwork if you want to fix that. Now it's only a $6,500 car, so. Down here, 15 inch steel wheels. Door handle, power door lock controls, power windows. We have rear window locks and power mirror controls as well. Econ mode can be set there, traction control, hood release. And we have a manual tilt telescoping steering wheel. And then here's our driver's seat, which is gonna be manual. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So let's go ahead and check out this rear seat room. And not bad for this to be a Honda Civic. I'm surprised I can sit back here. My head's not touching the ceiling. Very impressive space back here. And then we have a seat back pocket on the passenger seat there. There's a view of the front. We don't have a fold down seat, but it's the LX trim level. So it is what it is. Let's go ahead and hit the release for the, the trunk. And then we'll show the gas cap as well. Fuel caps there. And a big shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this Civic today. I'll leave a link below in the description. But decent trunk space for such a small car. Pull up here, spares right there. And then we can pull here to actually get that seat to fold down. Want to make sure it releases. Those sometimes don't always like to work. But there's a close-up of the back end there. Exhaust. Now let's come around to the rear passenger side and see if this actually worked. Yeah, so it's stuck in there, but this is supposed to fold down. Top tethers are there. Anchors are right in there. And then we have a manual front passenger seat here. Just seat back, seat bottom. A glove compartment, the owner's manuals are still in this one. And then as we come back around to the front, There's that 1.8 liter, 1.8 liter four cylinder, excuse me. But let's go ahead and get a quick rundown of the view from the driver's seat. So vinyl wrap steering wheel here still is held up pretty nicely again for the mileage. There's the horn there. And I'm gonna go into this now because there's a lot going on with this gauge cluster. So I can push this to activate the clock and fool with those settings there. And then over here, I can hit this for the trip meter. So I can pull up A, B or the odometer there. And then I just turn the brightness up or down there. So from there, I can show you, there's the speedometer, there is the fuel economy meter and then there is the fuel tank there and from here depending on what I click I can see all of my settings right in there as well as the the different views that are available so all that's done right here with this button now to the radio itself presets can be done here volume controls we can go through 
radio stations there. It's kind of a seek. And then again, your presets, but USB and an aux input on the aux side, that CD drive there, and then the radio station bands are there. And then you can go through your sound settings here and that'll pull up here. And then your settings settings right in here, depending on what menu you're in. You can actually help shut the whole audio system down too if you want to by hitting that button. Hazards are here. And then we have our single zone manual climate control so I can adjust temperature, fan speed, fan direction, defrost, and then the AC there. That aux input is right there, 12 volts here. And then for the shifter, pull this lever, reverse neutral drive, so on and so forth. And then handbrake there, bottle holders, center console cubby space, that's where the USB port is. There's a view of the back. Lights here. Drop down vanity mirror. And then back to the steering wheel, blinkers low beams corners off and then high beams or you can flash there and then intermittent intermittent wipers are here so one time off intermittent low high there and then the volume can be adjusted here you can go through the audio sources all of that here and again your menu you hit that you can go through those options right in there adjust the clock trip meter etc Cruise, turn that on there, set the speed, cancel. And then two keys on this one. This one is a fob, so you can unlock or lock the door electronically there. But next, let's go ahead and take this 2012 Honda Civic LX out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this Civic, it's a naturally aspirated 1.8 liter four cylinder. So it's not necessarily quick, but doesn't, struggle too much to get up to speed I'm gonna take the econ off see if that makes a difference oh that's better so once it gets going it Again, for it to be a 1.8 liter, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Try and get a better viewpoint here. Nobody's behind me. I'm going to slow down. Try and get up here. And hopefully be able to floor it. All right, here we go. So it didn't like that. Yeah, transmission did not like that at all. So hopefully I can make it back to the store. It's looking like I won't be able to. So we're gonna put it in park, shut it off, cut it back on. And hopefully we can make it back. Just looking like that will not be the case. So, big engine trouble here. So I don't recommend doing this at all, but I don't know what this just did. So I'm just gonna try and make it on the shoulder here. So it's one of the things when you have a vehicle of this caliber, 206,000 miles on it, it's gonna do weird stuff.
But that pretty much sums it up. This is probably gonna need a transmission or something like that. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2012 Honda Civic LX.